Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial we are going to look at something very organic in shape and it's jet engine. Yes, we are going to make it with the surfacing tools of AutoCAD. So let's start it. So I'll start with the spline tool and I'll make a shape something like this. I'm not using any dimensions. So I suggest you to go with the same procedure while drawing this. So here make a spline something like this then take a arc the three point arc and click on the first point somewhere around this place then the second point over here and the third point here okay done now let's go to home icon and move this spline towards z axis so select move enter select this point and take it towards z direction and move it to a distance that you feel is okay for this drawing there is no specific distance now join these two endpoints with a single line okay so we are done with this go to network surface click on this and this and press enter now click on this line this line and press enter again make sure to use this network tool as I've specified here. Now go to shaded view and here is the fin of our turbine. So we have made a fin with the surface. Now we are going to make it into a solid object. So to convert it to a solid object, I'll thicken it. So go to the thicken tool, select the surface and enter a thickness of 0.1 unit. And here we have the thickness. Apply to this. Okay. So here it is. Now let's array it. For making an array, I'll go to the top view, okay, zoom it out and select the polar array tool from the ribbon. So go to polar array, select your fin, enter and click to a point at a certain distance from the fin, like this, okay, and enter number of instances 21. So the number of items should be 21 or anything close to that. but 21 seems preferable here okay now here we have the array and just turn this associative option off on the ribbon it's not at all required so turn it off and close the array now go to top view again now let's select the circle approximate to the center go to the center and make a circle approximately with the same dimensions which I'm showing on the screen right now select the circle tool again Go to the center of the circle which you have already drawn and make a circle again but this time with a very small radius here also i'm using approximate radius don't need to be uh, you don't need to be specific about that okay now click on the home icon and here you can see that it's made correctly now select this and we need to move it so go to move tool select the circle and track along z axis and move it to a certain height okay so this height seems good okay now let's select the loft tool and here you will find how loft tool can be used intelligently so select these two circles in the order and then click on this grip now here you will find an option for draft angle click on the draft angle and this grip will appear so click on this grip and then click on this grip again and just manipulate it as I'm manipulating it and make it something like this okay this seems okay now click on this grip this grip will appear and again manipulate it to give it a perfect shape which we desire so this shape seems okay and we are done Let's manipulate it a little okay now press enter again and here we have our solid geometry so here you have learned how manipulation can be used with the loft tool so this is important make sure you use it intelligently to convert the shape into this organic shape now let's go to the parallel view right click on the view cube and go to parallel select your circle and click on the center so click on the center and make a circle so I'll make a circle which is at least bigger than the fins 
then click on the same center again okay select the center okay and make a circle again this time I'll make a smaller circle a smaller circle something like this okay go to circle tool again click the same center Here it snaps to center so select the center and make a circle which is smaller than the circle which we have previously drawn but make sure it doesn't touches any of the fins okay go to circle tool again and here we will make the last circle required so for that I'll go to the center yes snap the center and make a circle which is smaller than this one just smaller or larger you can just make a circle now go to home icon and now parallel view right click and go to parallel okay now I'll select move tool and select the circle yeah this one is good select this click on the center and move it a little bit downward just a little downwards go to move tool again and this time select the circle click on the center and move it downwards click on the center move it downwards to a certain distance okay click on that move tool again select the circle you can move both the circles at once also it all depends on you how you just apply it now go to surface tool and select loft and click on these two circles in the order and then the third circle make sure you follow the same order which I am following here and now go to draft angle now click on this grip and again manipulate it as I manipulated it earlier so go to draft and manipulate it again click on this on this grip and you can manipulate it as well but it's not at all required you can leave it here also okay here we have the outer geometry now click on loft tool again and click on this circle orbit it a little and click on this internal circle and press enter and here we have internal surface so here's the engine the organic shape of engine is complete and now you can render it I have used key shot for the rendering the drawing which you find on the YouTube is rendered with key shot you can use any of the softwares for that thank you for watching and have a nice day